headphones off for even just a second are flying to a fit of rage and beat to death with your own dick. Right now my boots have been stabilised by hardcore music, but even the slightest ride breakdown caused me to rip out your intestines and feature your own shit. How bad did you anger when she's here? I got pretty fucking tough actually at one point. I'd beat up every single dick dom and even the bungalow. Did you know that over 5,000 people this year alone in the UK treated their anger management issues with hardcore music? This is before hardcore music. And this is after. Can you see the difference? Trudy self-medicated with bonkers and it has almost cured her bouts of crippling rage. The Metropolitan Police have released convicts on a new tag and hardcore scheme allowing them to leave prison early. Well, I was supposed to stay in the nick my whole life actually through my anger management issues but they got me out on the, um, there's a thing called tag and hardcore so if you just look here, I've got a tag right here. Um, I take his headphones off for just one second there's eight police officers just started all around here. There's one in the bush over there, you can't see him. He's... You right there, Jim? You right there? Yeah, they're not supposed to talk to us. You get in fights here, like men, women, children. You name it, men, women, animals. Last time I did it, I fucking pulled up a rat's tail and um, fed it to myself. I had a fit of anger. Have you attacked animals before? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it again, to be honest. The second I take this off, I'll fucking go for the nearest animal. <laughs> So this is basically, this is my happy space. I really need to take this down. It's, um, it's a bird feeder that I made, but back in some of my worst periods, I was trying to capture birds just so I could just get them and just squeeze them in my hand until like the blood ran dry. Just been getting into a lot of gardening and stuff recently. We've got like, a lot of wild flowers here. You see these ones. This one is just about sorrow, really. That's why I planted it, the purple color. It just represents my misled youth. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of my eye at the moment as well. So my mum used to say to me, um, she said, don't, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. It's, it's just, it's just not that simple, you know. I'm just um, smashing up tonics actually. Yeah, it's kind of makes you feel, um, it gets out part of the anger, it kind of makes you feel a bit relaxed about everything and in control. Uh, sometimes all you've got to do is just grab up uh, one of these, tea oh. cakes, tonics, and um, you just, Grind it up. There's many ways to do it, but I usually go for the crunch like that, crunch method. You just kind of go for it. I'm kind of, it's better like that. Smash tonics. So they're getting into a lot of uh, bubble therapy recently, uh, which helps with the anger management issues. You just uh, you just blow a few bubbles. Nice. So make sure you blow plenty out. It's hard to keep your headphones on when you do it. <laughs> Sorry, see the my headphones just came off then. I was about to tear you a fucking new one. So where'd you get the tonics from? Ah, oh, just from the hard Cool Sainsbury's down the road, actually. What's hardcore Sainsbury's? Uh, it's just like a regular Sainsbury's, but they're playing hardcore music straight all the time, so these headphones don't actually need to be on for a bit, which is actually quite good for it. Is Come, follow me down there. Hey! No, sir, sir. <laughs> <laughs>